This is Glenn W. Turner. I founded the Step to Greatness philosophy. To explain it better, I have to explain my life. I was born in a sharecropper shack by an unwed mother and a South Carolina tobacco farm. By all reasons, I should never have made it off of that farm. But something in me told me I could. It was the God power, I call it, within me. I learned early in life to read books about Helen Keller, who was blind and couldn't hear it, it became famous. About Grandma Moses, who was 78 years old and still made something of her life and learned to read and write her name when she had to sign her first $10,000 check for her first painting. I learned that even though she couldn't paint the forms like normal painters, that she created her own unique style. I learned that Colonel Sanders and people like that have, have uh, made a success at 65 years old. I learned that people are very young, even at 12 and 13, have started companies and did things special. I learned that handicapped is no excuse, and I've learned that lack of education is no excuse. I've learned that even in a communist country, Khrushchev and Gorbachev and people like that made it even in that system. So you can always be a winner as long as you learn total control. But I'm talking about you getting total control of your mind and use it for good things. Now, I've read so many books, Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I read Thank You, Grover Rich, for Napoleon Hill, The Magic of Believing by Claude Bressel. All these things that I talk about and say about is nothing new. It is the wisdom of the ages. And even these authors got it from the Bible. They got it from other great books. Nothing is new. It's just expounded upon and brought down. What I have done over the years is proven that if a hair lip, eighth grade dropout, can learn the secret and the wisdom of the ages, anyone can learn if they're willing and have the desire. And that is the problem we have with most people. They don't have the decision-making power to say, I will. I will stick to something like a postage stamp to reach its destination. Now, Step to Greatness is designed to show you how to take back total control of your mind, because most of you lost it right after you was born, when everybody started programming through your ears and through your eyes their beliefs, their ideas of success, and what you should be. Now, you are, for the most part, who you looked at and who you're listening to all your life. It's time that you start listening to what you want in your mind. It start, right now you're getting what you don't want. Now, you've got to remember that never to let the outside of your head affect the inside. Always let what on the inside control what's said on the outside and keep it out unless it's good, it's decent, and it's positive, and it helps you reach your goal. Now, make a decision. Most people cannot make a decision. They'll look at this at night, and they have to ask the two-year-old son, the doctor, the lawyer, the ain't Nellie. They just can't make a decision. They can't take that first step. That first step is the hardest to take because, you see, most people make a decision with what's in their brain, and what's in their brain is always kept them average. So far, they really don't have the, the brain power and the proper information to make a decision. So sometimes you have to kind of listen to somebody like me that motivates you and is saying, hey, take it on faith. Give it a shot. Give it a try. What do you got to lose? And that's the way most people are. Most people say no because they don't have enough information in their head. Because remember, if Glenn Turner can do it, you can do it. Do not judge people. Because the first meeting I set in to become a winner in my life was in a small town of 5,000, Marion, South Carolina. And people looked over there and started snickering. They said, who brought their hair lip? Don't judge a cripple. Don't judge a black. Don't judge a Jewish, a Gentile, a fat or skinny, or tall or short. What national? You never know. Many, many so-called average people have become great by quit thinking average. Your habits make you what you are. Change your habit, you'll change your life. This is Glenn W. Turner, Step to Greatness. God bless you.